Once your defibrillator arrives at the bedside, it's time to apply your quick combo pads. First, you need to take your quick combo connector and the quick combo pad connector and place them together, as seen here. Now, onto the pads. As seen in the picture, you need to apply them on the front and the back of the patient or anterior posterior placement. Start with the posterior placement by rolling the patient over on their side and placing firmly on the back. Roll the patient back. Now, for anterior placement, you're going to place it on the front of the patient. And at this point, it's time to power on your defibrillator. It's time to turn your defibrillator on for the use of mechanical pacing. First, you start with this green button here. Once the machine is powered on, you should see your rhythm as shown here. Next, you're gonna to need to turn your pacer on. The pacer on this defibrillator is everything in green. So you would hit the pacer button. That turns your pacer on. Now you're gonna to wanna to decide what rate you're going to want to set your pacer at. In other words, what is the heart rate or pulse that you will be able to palpate on this particular patient. So with this patient, they've been riding at around 56. So you may wanna to go to around 70 or 80. Or if you feel like or see later that they need a higher heart rate in order to do better, you may dial your rate up at that time. So let's say we decided on a rate of 80. We can dial that up right here, or you could hit the buttons. Once you've set your rate, now you need to decide on your current. So you simply hit the up arrow of your currents. Now you notice that you see pacer spikes showing up, but if you felt a pulse, you would not feel it yet on the patient. You need to increase the current until you see both physiologic and mechanical capture. And I want you to watch carefully, aha, as that happens here on the defibrillator. So you see a pacer spike in front of every QRS, and you would also feel the pulse on the patient show up at a rate that you set it at around a rate of 80. Now, if you decided they needed a higher rate, you could of course increase it at this time. If you think they need a lower current, you could try to lower it and see if it picks up, but you see that it does not. So they need 60 milliamps in order to get the rate felt on the patient that you set around 80 to 90. So you see here, mechanical capture, you feel the pulse on the patient and you have physiologic capture. And now it's time to decide if this is what the patient needs or should they need a higher rate at this point. So this is how you use the defibrillator for mechanical pacing in neonates.